hello guys welcome to my youtube channel once again this is tech pba so in this video tutorial i'm going to take you through how to set up the scan to email feature on a canon ir 2425i so um, let's stay with me to go through this tutorial so the first thing we are going to do is to log into the gmail account i created a gmail account specifically for this um, canon device or the canon machine so i'll sign in into the google accounts so that is the google account i created for the canon machine i'll click on it to sign in and then type the password to log into the account once the password is typed, I'll click on next. And then I, I enabled two-way authentication. So I'll quickly type the code which I received on my phone. And then I'll click next again. And once logged in, I'll click on the account icon click on manage your Google account from there I'm going to click on the security tab on the left so in here we are going to set an app password the feature is not here, so we'll search for it in the search box. I'll type app password. Then click on the app password as it's showed up over there. So once I click on it, I will give the app name, which is something... So I'll give it a name, which is um, Canon IR 2425i. I'll click on Create to generate the password. So this is the generated password we'll use on the machine's web UI. So I'll quickly copy it and then paste it in um, Notepad. But yes, you have to paste it without the spaces in the password. It's a system. 16 letter password so the next thing i'll do is to open a new tab and then type the, the ip address of the canon machine i'll press enter to log in into the machine's um, web ui once you are greeted with this prompt you go ahead i'll go ahead and then type the username which is by default administrator and then also I'll type the password and click login to log into the machine's web UI. Once logged in, I'll click. So yes, we're looking at the machine's web UI. I'll click on the settings icon. And then once I click on the settings icon, I'll click on the network settings. That is the first thing you want to check. You want to check your network settings and make sure that your Canon machine can be seen over your network. So um, that's the IP address, that's the subnet mask, and then the default gateway. And then also I typed the DNS address, local DNS address. This is a DNS um, server on my local network. So that is the IP address. Once that is done, I will go ahead and click on the send button on the left. And then once I click on send, I want to click on network settings, email and fax settings. So once you are in the, in the SMTP server box, you want to make sure that you type smtp.gmail.com. And then in the email address box, you type the email address um, for the Canon copier machine. 
you want to go ahead and then check the change password box and then type the 16 letter password we generated in the Google account settings so I'll check the box and then you have to make sure that those two boxes are unchecked and then I'll quickly copy the password and then, yes that's the the generated password but you have to type it without the spaces in them I'll copy it very quickly control C and then I'll paste it in these boxes paste it in there and then confirm it and then you will do the same thing under the authentication and encryption settings click on the change password and then paste it there confirm it in the other box and then that should be it once I click OK the password will disappear from from both sets of settings and then the next thing I did was to go on to the copier machine itself so you need to open a certain port number on the machine itself sometimes you can be able to um, do it with the web UI but in my, in my case I couldn't see it anywhere on the web UI so I did it on the machine itself so I logged in with the administrator pressed on the settings key on the keypad on the control board go into the settings went into the send settings I tapped on email and fax settings and then I, would, I tapped on specify ports settings and then in the SMTP TX box I used the keypad on the right and entered port number 587 once you enter the port number in there the next thing you do is to tap on the OK button and then tap on the close button to save the settings then once the port is configured I went back onto the web UI and then clicked apply settings there was no changes to be applied so I went back into the send settings went into the network settings email and fax settings and then I clicked on the check SMTP connection then once everything is done everything is working well you will see that connection was successful once again I went back to the copier machine itself placed a document on the on the flatbed and then I tapped on the so before you will be able to send out an email from the copier you need to register a destination so I went ahead and then registered um, an email address but in this case I used the email address I created for the copier itself so I went into I typed the name I typed the email address And then I pressed OK to save the email address, which is the first destination I created on the system. So once that is created, I'll tap on the home button and then tap on scan and send with the document on the flatbed. I'll tap on yes to, to, to accept the settings. I'll tap on address book and select the email address or the destination I just created and press OK. Once you press OK, you'll be greeted with the, the settings that will be printed out. I pressed on the green button to start the scan and send process. I'll tap OK to accept the paper type and then the the machine will first of all scan the documents and then I will tap on start sending to send the, the 
document through an email and then as you can see the status said sending yes the email has been pushed out it's been sent out by the copier machine so once that is done I'll go back to my PC and then check that the email was indeed sent to the inbox as we are looking at right now so the file name is attached file I'll quickly download it onto this system open it and see that indeed it is the same document that was scanned and sent by the copier machine so give it a name I'll click save so once you once downloaded I'll click on the file to open it and Google Chrome so yes it's actually a document a, a, a Windows test page um, document that I scanned and sent through I so yes guys thanks for watching this video tutorial I hope you've learned a lot please kindly subscribe to my channel tech PBA share this video click on the like button if you enjoyed watching this video please also turn on notification for any future videos thank you and see you in another video bye